I hate you. <laughs> God, I always love that. And that shit looks so good in this game. You are so good. What is that weird thing over there? Uh, oh, it's, 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 it's a space, space butthole. Where no man has gone before. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna fly right into it and shit. Yeah. Given how much focus and the crazy music, I guess you could say it's What's probably that? significant in some way. Might be. It might be, possibly. Let's shoot a missile at it and see what it does. Right. System's failing all over. Guy anything? Got these nuts! Woo! Starting sublet engines. Nice one, buddy. <laughs> Uh, even if you just reach sublight engines that close, your ship isn't surviving. Yeah, they kind of just use sci-fi words wherever they want in sci-fi, don't they? Sublight, what you need is inertial thrusters. That's what gets you 20 miles an hour, not 2,000 miles an hour. There's a difference. <coughs> and nice. I am annoyed. Stop. By sci fi that misuse it. <coughs> He's the Joker, baby. Completely fried. We won't be flying again. <coughs> <coughs> okay. This is us. This must be the outpost. I guess we finally get to see Grace's Cantina. <laughs> I'm sad that that song isn't actually used more in Star Wars. <laughs> no, there's this great song I use for my Star Wars gaming clips on my Star Wars channel. And um, I use the music from Star Wars Droid Works, the dance music. So you make a droid, then you hit a button, and then your droid will just start dancing. And it's it's this really groovy little song. It's all down, 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 down. It's fun. It's 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 jazzy. Run across, jump. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh no, I do have double jump. Good. I just don't have the. It's weird that they put one of these little loading rocks that you squeeze okay. through so early. Grease is on the other side of all this. Oh hey, look at that big old dinosaur thingy over there. Oh, yeah, he's a pair of binoculars. Sonomadron, run! Right. Oh, that place a beacon on him? Oh. Beast. We have our target. Now let's reach it. Alright, game, I understand the concept. It's a map. You're not the first ones to do this, and this is never gonna be anybody's first video game. Luke Earl. What's an old I would love to interview people here. like what was your first video game like it's actually hard for me to even think what my first one might have been no wait I mean if we're getting technical Last there was this like was on floppy disk oh ago. yeah there was this like kids game that my mom had gotten her hands on that like yeah, you itself. could program it to like the parts we need. have people say hello like family members and stuff and it was like this little activity room I vaguely remember it. it was so fucking retro like it was like those black and white dots that make images and everything like it was really well designed but like yeah I mean that must have been like 1994 95 Long ass time ago. If we want to talk about like what, you know, I mean, define a video game, right? Oh, I only have two health things. That's right. Back to it. Oh, I don't have that force ability yet. Force lift. Luke Hulk is through here. Yeah, you have to unlock it. Gate is working though. Oh no, I guess this one I just have to turn on the gate maybe, or maybe I do have to go all the way around. I don't remember. It's been a while. But you know what I do remember? I've got a motherfucking grappling hook. And if that ain't the bee's knees. I said it, what? Oh, he said bee's knees, man. People do that sometimes. Like, yeah, maybe I'm just kind of like saying it ironically, just for the shits and giggles of it all. 
Even shits and giggles, people are like, oh, I've never heard that phrase before. It's like, really? Yes, yeah. You heard you about have, it not before. really. You have it? Like, you heard it in third grade. Because if you went to a public school, you definitely heard it. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Ah, look at he landed. He landed with. Ah. Yep. <laughs> he broke He's it in half. He assumed the position. <laughs> when she's ready for you to mount. <laughs> oh. Bob. That was Bob. Bob. What the fuck? Battery operated boy. There we go. Okay, not bad. So this game has different currency for different characters. Every character has their own. Which, I mean, they all offer different things, kind of. Because no one comes from the same side of the universe as each other. Right. What's up, bros? Look at that. <laughs> Switching to solo tactic. What is Grease got himself into? Why are you always blaming Grease? <laughs> Dick. <laughs> ah! That poor defenseless creature. So, unsurprisingly, um, the, the BD-1 droids have some of that. Or B-1 droids, excuse me, have some of the best dialogue and people love them. Oh, but then I won't see the scenery. Hmm, now that's a dilemma. I love how he apparently can't see my head, my robot. Like, hold on a second. Um... He can definitely see I'm you. just saying, he should probably be able to see me. Just he can definitely see you, he just doesn't care. Right there, like... Like, even if he was at the... <laughs> like... I mean, come on. These droids are just badly made. And they're supposed to help conquer the universe. Dilemma solved. Well, the, the thing about the uh, Separatist... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, just don't even hit it. Um, the thing about the Separatist droid army is that they were designed to overwhelm with numbers, not necessarily be efficient. And, I mean, for the most part, that did actually work. And when you consider that the Separatists were, like, you know, not horrible people, they were just duped by a fucking Sith Lord. Like, these were people who just wanted their planets to operate independently outside of the, the Galactic Republic. That's it. And honestly, when it comes to entire planets, maybe some of them have the right to just be like, hey, no, we, we got this. We're good. Another day, another droid crushed. Oh, okay. Just don't even do the thing. Ow. Like I killed his own boss. Remain still. Nah, I'm good. I was built. Nice. I think it's safe to say these droids have new masters. Oh yeah, make sure to scan all of them. Because you can use them in that board game I was telling you about earlier. Oh. Yeah. But to do the board game, you gotta find the people who have the board game. All the people you can find to add to your, well, to Grease's club, um, they're, they're, they're just, you know, pretty easy places to find. But it makes it so much better whenever you come back to this world. They're sinking. 
Gross. <sighs> gotta move. That is like, now nah, I gotta scan the mud first. Be careful. Oh. Use the fullest cow. Okay. So they explode. Oh. Run him out. Now it's a lot of tar. It's a lot of tar. Ah. I will also need force lift for that. Stuck ship, huh? Tell me about it. <laughs> Wish we could help. Ah. That is why you fail. I'm just thinking of Yoda lifting that shit. It's like, force lift has to be one of the first fucking things you learn, man. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> They're just so bad at their jobs. Also, I like how I have the, the DLC lightsabers. Basically Luke's or Anakin's lightsaber. Depending on how you look at it. I also love that in episode four, you're like, wow, that's Luke's dad's lightsaber. You know, that's so important. That's so crazy. And then it's like, nah, that's like his fourth lightsaber. Mm -mm. Apparently he has that as well. No, once you hit them, after slow-mo, they speed up. So it just kind of slows everyone down, except for the one person you hit. Which, when you think about it, it makes it a little more fair, because you kind of, like, knock them out of the slow-mo. Alright, so it's not too broken. Yeah, exactly. It's just broken enough. Which, I think any good video game has that balance between convenient and a little inconvenient. Well, I'm going to have a little drinky drink. Mmm. Ugh. That's too bad you don't like this stuff. I couldn't get the other stuff, the actual, like, 12-year-old stuff. <sighs> Alright. They are they just random. They only have one bomb at a time. Somebody might have got to it first. All set, BD? I'm sure it's popular. Oh, yeah. 12-year-old single malt? It, they are popular. Right. We have to go that way, but I want to see what's over here. Push it off, and I just realized how stupid that was. Wow, he is just something else. You know? Close one. Sorry, I forgot what the lock on button was for a second. Scan that monster. Looks like it dragged its prey back. Unless I've already scanned one of them before. Ah. Good. Tactical guide. Eat the big mushroom. Ah! I knew it. This gives me uh, force abilities. If it's not push. Or lift. Well, no, it like it gives you random different abilities, like either health upgrades or something. Well, I guess maybe not random. I don't know if they're scripted out, but they give you upgrades. Every now and then, it's a force ability or a health upgrade, or you know, okay, something to make your life a little easier. Just something to waste five minutes to go get. I mean, it wasn't a bad five minutes. Nah. It like, wasn't. I mean, at least, it, I mean, you like, that's the thing the about creature, a good game. That was whatever. I mean, that's the fun of the game, is fighting these big creatures. Oh, yeah, this part, this part, this part. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, a lot of enemies like doing shit like that. Because it's a bug. Oh, no, no, no. Even, like, sentient enemies. They just, like, doing shit like that. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you wanted to scan one of these guys. I never nice used these job. ones in battle, but alright. So yeah, y'all remember episode 4, the board game that they're playing and everything? Yeah, you could play that in this. And it's actually not chess. It's more like use points to, to uh, pick out enemy, uh, pick out characters to battle with, and bigger characters obviously cost more points. Then, and then you kind of just watch them battle each other. You know, like if you did like an AI battle simulator kind of thing. But they're very small battles. I mean, you could just spawn in eight stormtroopers if you want, but then you'd have a lot of points left over. You got BD-1. Oh, that's right. You got a little visor. It's adorable. I kind of like the, the R2-D2 vibe. Buddy, he, no, no, hey, get out of that. What are you doing that for, man? Why are you trying to get in my laundry bag? You're such a turd. Oh my god. Fucking dick. <laughs> He's such a little bastard. And then he just looks at me like, well, what? Uh, with his big old green eyes, like, no, oh, I'm just, well, uh, why are you mad at me? Because he's a twat. Right? <laughs> nah, it's a great lightsaber, though. Look at that. That's just great. Uh. Sorry, I'm just admiring the, the, the work they put into making it actually look like it. Yeah. I might change the color. Who knows? You know what would be cool? Huh? One at the side oh. is Anakin's and one side is Luke's. Oh, the, the one that he has, the green one? That that's what I was hoping the lightsaber was gonna be because it says Rebel Hero, so I thought it was gonna be that because that's more of the rebel. Because at that point he's still not really the Rebel Hero. He should. Could, I mean, kind of. He is. blew up one Death Star, but he was ah. a rebel. Yeah, no, he was just a farm boy who got roped into some shit because of the pretty princess that turned out to be his sister. Whoops. Who are you? It's okay. You ever think they ever talked about that? <laughs> like, hey, Leia, you remember that one time we made out on Hot? hot look, look, just. Don't know where the others are. Never it happened. didn't happen. Right. It didn't happen. That doesn't work on me. Oh. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> he tries to do the fourth Jedi. Just go up to Han. Leia never kissed me. Leia never kissed you. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to respond to him. And then there's the raiders. Then the bugs. It's too dangerous for you here. You should go. I will. Once I know it's safe. Yeah, all right, sure, whatever. Oh, here we go. So we get busy making jokes and we miss shit. All right, what are we doing here? We need to fuck that up somehow. <laughs> You'll never make it. Oh, yeah? No, you're right. <laughs> you're right, I wouldn't. Not even. Because that's tar down there. I mean, that's basically hitting a solid at that point. Yeah. What we need to do is blow that up. Ah, oh, sweet. We I gotta find a boom. Ooh, body. Lucky shots. Oh my god. Such a dick. <coughs> is there something else? No? Okay. Here we go. Sorry, sometimes me and my friend are just having fun dicking around. Nice. I just. I didn't think so. Nah. You are not strong enough in the force, Cal. What's that? What was what, that? I don't know, some kind of like lighting rig? The lighting rig should have cannons. No, it's just. It's like construction lights. I remember what. Oh, that's right. There it is. There's a groove in that. I'm supposed to somehow get through here. And then there are bombs in there that I can use. Ooh, oh, that, maybe that I'm craft right there doesn't have a gun. What? Behind you. That craft doesn't have a gun. You think that's a spacecraft? No, we haven't actually looked at it, so I'm not sure. That's not a spacecraft. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not exactly sure what it is. BD, we're not going to that, man. Chill. I'll be okay. You. I'll go once I see my chance. Oh no, I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. Sucks, because I've been playing this game, but it's been about a couple weeks since I've... Fuck, it was so simple when I... Why is it like that, right? Oh, it's so simple when I'm just playing by myself. Oh, wait. 
I'm supposed to go this way first. Because, see, we need to break that and a bunch of other stuff apart. We need to come over here first. I was just thinking way too far ahead. That's cool. Old Good. Aren't held together by much. What's over here? No way to get over there. Okay. Huh, huh. Nice. Woo! Don't get your boots muddy. Please let me go. We won't prospect in the gorge again. You hear that? No. Do it. Do it. Call it in. Do it. Another one down. Ravis will want to know. Hello there. That's a you know how they'll launch at you and attack you when you force pull them? Yeah. What you gotta do is hit the attack first, so you force pull them. They go for the attack, so then you attack them first. First strike, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Sir, I found something. It um seems to be closing on me. Ah! <laughs> you idiot. Get him. You don't help me. <laughs> That was actually really convenient. Those roller mines were me. That's how we destroy shit. You, I was trespassing, blaster. Uh, look who it is. A bunch of that. Oh, see, I didn't hit it in time. Also, they are a lot faster. In the oh, yeah, off. they're battle droids of a specific type. Yeah, they were, and... they were meant to tango with didn't Jedi. These. Where'd the other one go? He ran like a Say that. I don't know. Sounded like someone with a big pity dick in his mouth. Interesting. Yeah. Couldn't hear what he was saying. He said something about a Jedi coming to his lair. What are you doing down here? Right. Oh shit. That's where the purple and green stuff were for him. I'm gonna have to come back here with my own playthrough. That could make BD1 purple and green. Make them Joker colors. All right, dude. Well, I'll be back. Still here. Why don't you trust me? Why should we? You're wasting time distrusting me when there's who even knows what right here. After we're done streaming this, if you want to join me, I want to come back here and see what's up to in there, because I have the ability to open it. What that is, is you use BD-1, and then he'll have a little electrical bolt that he can into it. Oh. He gets a couple abilities. This game gives you a lot of shit. Like, this requires something. There's like a switch somewhere. That. There's somewhere around here a fucking switch. Who knows? We will come back here later. Where is it? Shh. Boom outside. Okay. Well, hopefully we find it. Because I'm very curious. And, like, I've been looking for that paint. Because you can get... I got it for the lightsaber, the purple and green. Mm. Like a little Joker lightsaber thing. That's kind of fun. Oh, see? They like hiding behind shit. Barely, don't Barely, he just sliced your ass apart. Always on point. Oh yeah, the, the one with the cape. That's a cool one. We're just gonna wear this throughout the whole thing, cause uh, it's fucking fly. <laughs> hey, what have you found? You want to press it, right? Oh! Guess where we're going to come out. Things pack and punch. Okay, I did it. Let's find a way what you do. You take it. Throw it. Right? 
Then you get another one to spawn out. Then you fucking book it. Oh shit, I didn't hit it right. Come here, little shit. That could be useful. There we go. Ah, uh, Hamboy says he loves that there's droids in this. Me too. Then you gotta get him to chase you all the way up the ramp. Come on now, boy. And then yet. Yeah. Noise. That should do it. I wonder if I can do the same thing over because it seems like there might be a few things over there. Let's take a look. I don't see any reservoirs to doesn't seem like you're supposed to make that fill up. Anything over here? Oh, wait, there was that one. Not get to chase me far. Can it? Okay, good. There is a ramp. Hey, Yusa, come with me. Look, I found a new friend, guys. He seems to really like me. What are we doing here? Starting. It's boring. When will we get some action? Oh, I was really hoping for a red versus blue reference. <laughs> hey, you ever wonder why we're here? That's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Why are we here? Are we just a cosmic coincidence? Is there really a god watching over us and stuff? What? What was all that god stuff about? I don't know. <laughs> you want to talk about it? No. no. Are you sure? Yes. Are you crying? No. Hi, guys. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> so handsome. Actually, I think it would be way funnier if it was like a BD uh, or a B1 droid talking to a B2. Like, hey, you ever wonder why we're here? Uh, that's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? What? Because they're older models, so they've been more quick. What was that stuff about God? Nothing. <laughs> what? Dinosaurs. And there was a land of dinosaurs. Where even are we, sir? <laughs> Don't look down. I look down. Oh well, I guess. Really? That was exactly as you planned it? Okay. Terrible plan. It is. Uh, he was just standing there, stuck in the animation, frozen because. Ah, uh, yeah, I was wondering why he wasn't attacking. Look, another crystal. Uh. Give me a little of that force essence. There's an elevator back down there. Now, how do I get over there? Answer. I do oh, I see. See those little balloon thingies? Yeah. That's a later game thing. See, that's the incentive to come back and, and unlock more stuff when you got more abilities to unlock more stuff. I don't mind that in games as long as what I'm unlocking is not just a bunch of fucking ponchos! Oh. <laughs> uh.
like I know that the actor really loves the ponchos. That's great. But there needs to be more variety. And that's why you are an actor. <laughs> this is really not pleasant. Don't get me wrong. I've done acting and I've made suggestions and they're just like, nope. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Guess not then. There are ponchos in this, but what they've done is you unlock one poncho and then you can unlock all the colors like a variety pack. So you unlock the clothing and then you can unlock the variants of the color of clothing. <laughs> Look at that thing. Say hi to it. It's a it's herbivore. It's not gonna eat him. I love that he flies by farting. Can I tell you to be more careful about who you scan? Come on. Aww. Should have left you in that rat tar nest. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. And also a nice callback. And also, nothing would have gone the way it went if it wasn't for him, so... You would have been fucked with that VD-1. He's your Hermione Granger, dude. Surprise! Wait, survive that? That's a tough-ass droid. Oh, you know what I'll put in? I'll put in that um that bit from Jabba's Palace. Oh. Guess what we get to do? Oh. And and pop it. Come on. Where's the? There's an achievement. I don't know why I didn't pop it. Change the scenery. Oh, I know why. Because I was using this just. I already got it for this account. Damn it! Yeah. It is an achievement for petting them, and it's like, yes, you can pet them. Oh. It's cute. Is that your ship oh, she is. Yeah, we had some uh, technical problems. Probably met the Bedlam Raiders then. Tactus Man, she looks like she can rip your dick off. Glad you're okay. <laughs> Look at those arms. A strong woman. Friend. Got nothing on gas. There's always a use for strong oh, shoot, in the world. I, know him. I, I run the stables in town. Uh, my name's Mosey. I'm Cal. Oh. This is Petey One. She just cuts your arm off. Are you cute little droid? <laughs> He's like, I am. It's good to see a friendly <laughs> face. Likewise. Well, just because you know the same person doesn't mean it's friendly. Oh, no, she's cool. Let's go looking for it. Oh, and, uh... As far as I know. The Dome Adventure when you get in town? She, uh... Doesn't take kindly of strangers. We understand. Thanks for the advice, Mosey. I love that Cal acknowledges BD1's existence and how like he wouldn't be anywhere without him and always like we and hi I'm Cal, this is BD1. Like something about that always just makes me really happy. Thank you, Mana. I broke the rocks! Broke the rocks. That might have been someone's gravestone. You defiled it with your Jedi kicking it. I did. I did. Hold on. I'm gonna. Can I remove this beacon? Ah, there we go. Because <coughs> that's just distracting to have that. Because this is where we're going. Woo! You hear that little woo sound? The fuck hey, is that? Didn't expect to see oh, it's one of those things. Soon. Thought I'd check out the stables. Well, these ain't it. I'm just tending to Brutus here. He's an echo. Stables down yonder in town, and if you find a beast you want saddled, drop on by. I'll keep an eye out, Mosey. Thanks. Yeah, you could ride those things, and they're pretty good. You can't ride those things, though. You can fight those things, but I don't want to fight them right now. You ever fight a Varen for money? Fucking what? That's that joke. Oh, oh, the Varen, right. I 
forgot about those stupid things. I actually did that on my Renegade run. We I... should totally go through the... Because I have the remastered editions. I just don't have them downloaded because they take up so much space. Oh, yeah. And they're Series S and X games, so I'm going to have to move a lot of things out of the way for that. Yeah. They are fucking huge. I need to get, like, an yeah. extra... Um, yeah, yeah. Hard drive, because... This game is 100 gigs that we're playing right now. Also, they're rare, but there are purple ones of these, too. They don't like me yet. Oh, I want to do something real quick. Say, I want to tweak a few things. Come here, BD. Do it. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Look at him. That's perfect. You know, I think I was supposed to pet the one that she was chilling with, and that would have made all the other ones like me for some reason. But whatever. Hey, I'm not going all the way back there. It'll be good to see Grease again. Been a long time. Maybe he knows where the others ended up. See her stuck in the past. Marin wandering. Ancient history. Woo. Here it is. Oh! And here's a familiar voice from Psychonauts. Think you can pull a fast one on us? I am the frog guy. Or if you're an Invader Zim fan. Hey. Let him go. Y'all ain't black. Y'all ain't welcome around here. Right. We cannot do. Do you ever yeah, watch that this. Clone Wars cartoon? That 2D one from like so way back in the day, right before Episode 3 came out? Roller. No. It's, first of all, we super badass because it's made by the same guy who did Back to the Past Samurai Jack Jack. Jack of you watch Samurai Jack? You would fucking love Samurai it's Jack. Fake. And uh, while this is not the same character, his species has shown up before. I thought it was the real deal, Ravis. Honest. Because oh. he is very resilient to lightsabers. And there's a reason. You know the hunters in Halo and how they're made out of worms? Yeah. He's kind of basically the same concept. And they live for like thousands of years. When you cross the Bedlam Raiders! Kill him. Oh no! Oh now you can Oh, I can always use force push. No more than one in a single move. Oh, right. Yeah. A Jedi. <laughs> I love this guy, though. He's actually pretty great. Remind our friend here why. Is like, as far as antagonists go, and he's only one of the antagonists. He's kind of fucking great. Ooh. 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 It tickles. Ooh, daddy. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Now. So from his perspective, I just like literally zoomed around him at lightning speed. Oh. <laughs> Next time you want to pick a fight. Go through us. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a delight to see one of your kind in action after all these years. 
noble Jedi Knight. If you stay your half, I shall withdraw in peace. Be seeing you. Come on, he's great, right? This is him, Delma. Oh, what do you want, Invader Zim? What do you want, Raz from Psychonauts? And lots of other voices, too. Turgle, fuck off. Yes. Oh, there she is. You're Doma? Well, yes, I am. Where do you buy your clothes? Genuine question. There's gotta be a lot of, like, specialty alien shops, right? Speedy one. I think he's a hater. <laughs> here on the frontier, only <coughs> is by sticking together. That's right. Take my love, take my land. <coughs> take me where I cannot stand. So I should said frontier and we're in space, and all I could think of is Firefly. I'm sure we could both benefit from it. Thanks. Oh, so you remember how when Fallout 76 was um, uh, marketed, it had uh, Country Roads as the theme? Well, there's a, a band called Me First and the Gimme Gimme, who were like a punk band from like the 90s and uh, like, yeah, like 80s and 90s. Um, they did a, com a cover that's totally fucking goes hard. But what I want to do is get a bunch of footage of us playing the game at like some of the most climactic moments and like make a little music video to that. But, like, it has to open with all of it, because it opens with them, like, diddle, 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 on their instruments, you know, and, like, fucking around a little bit so it can cut all different characters using instruments. <laughs> like, I mean, when the song starts, it's all... Da -da 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 like, it's, like, it's bad. Take me home, country roads! It's, like, it's, it's fun. It's a very fun one. I mean, to be fair, if you're going to base a game in West Virginia, <clears throat> there is, especially on Apocalypse, where you use that kind of old music... I mean, there's probably no better choice. Well, that's an interesting chair. Nothing. This dude is amazing. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Hairy. Big mouth. Vertically challenged. You can come out now. Vertically challenged. Raiders are gonna be the end of this town. We got no hope, zero, zilch, nothing. How you doing, BD? Wait a minute. Hey, how you doing? That stance, though. That's some big dick energy. Oh, it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Hey, let me look at you. You look terrible. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking care of the manners? Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, yeah, I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo too lately. Gyro's burnt out on the Mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Ah, yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on. Grab some seat. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One Here's some milk. blue milk. Right I'll put some blue milk all up in your face, boy. I'll be like it. Saloon, you gotta imagine some species has different yeah, colored jibs. Uh, didn't do it justice. I don't know why, but black semen, like the, the color of like clothing. Like, like tar, you know, that just looks so gross. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. As long as I don't have anything they need. One of them has to splooge like Nickelodeon slime. That's what it's made out of. Gathering intel for Saw Guerrero. Alien jizz. Things got bad. One of the executives is an alien getting a lot of kicks watching that jizz go all over men, women, and children. Empire's only growing stronger. Is that too inappropriate? Things Probably. Uh, haven't been the same since Star Wars is a children's franchise, yeah, okay? People don't jizz in the Star Wars universe. Me, you, 
And yet people are still born. No, I, I remember mentioning that one of the reasons why Rey in Episode 7, at least, why she was, you know, so proficient at fighting is that she was on a sand planet with a bunch of men who probably, uh, you know... Are terrible people. Who tried to do things like, uh... You? R A P. And someone's like, "Ah, uh, that doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe because Star Wars is owned by Disney." It's like, um, um I don't know what you call a man kissing a sleeping girl in hopes of waking her up when she's in a glass coffin, but we call that sexual assault in the real world. People should understand that the right. Walt Disney Vault has Thanks, the highest collection of porn to exist on the entire planet. I, I don't know if that's true if he's just making shit up. But. It is true because any artist employed by the Disney Corporation, anything they draw, doodle, whatnot, belongs to the corporation. And after a while, they start drawing inappropriate things during the boredom. <coughs> and oh, and yeah. that shit becomes part of the Disney vault. They, so anything, you've got to imagine there is just a picture create, out there of Bell getting just rammed by both ends by Gaston and Beast. Yeah. <laughs> And Codsworth in the middle, like, covering and his was, eyes, but Lemire, Lemire, whatever his name is, is fucking clapping, like, hey! And the original artist... Everybody's getting along! And the original artist on hey, the Beast, TV show Eiffel Tower. probably drew it. Beast! Beast! Eiffel Tower! Eiffel Tower! <laughs> Beast! <laughs> Put your hands up! Isma! Isma! Eiffel Tower! Put your hands up! <laughs> That's fucking gross! Uh... uh. But Would yeah. Cusco be in the middle on that one? Would he be a llama? Uh, <laughs> this is the worst. This is the we're worst. We're never getting monetized. Oh, no, no. No, I've come to terms with that a long time ago. Donate to my Patreon. Slash Clown King. Uh, terrible, but it's not inaccurate. <laughs> hey, how you doing? You don't look like a raider. What gave it away? No what? blaster in my face. No spilling drinks and shouting Just bloody blaster murder. Blaster at all? Yeah. Oh, cute droid too. <coughs> BD1. I'm Cal. About I mean, to be fair, <coughs> BD1 is I'm a cute asteroid. Nice to meet you. Better than that one they added in episode nine. This random little cone face droid that just sucked. I hated him. Oh, here we go. Yourself. Oh, we'll run into her later, that's right. But she's one of, uh... Is she an assassin? Uh, she's got bounty hunter. Oh, same thing sometimes. Wait, where's that zoom in feature? Oh, there it is. It's underneath the Twitch stream thing. She's one of these species. You know, like, uh, Kit Fisto? Jedi. Yeah. Green aliens with tentacles for hair. Yeah, but it's not, they're not Twi'leks. They're not the ones with just the two tentacles. They're the ones with like the dreadlock of tentacles. This stage has seen better days. Yeah, it's almost like we might be able to get like some musicians or something. Maybe. Oh, this fucking well, dude. What do you have to say for yourself? And no, ladies and gentlemen, he's not problem. Chiss. I could have sworn I heard you stirring up a raider-sized problem just outside. I didn't start that fight. Well, it certainly seems you finished it. I always love the wider perspective for cameras because things that are really close look huge like his hands did. Yes. I don't know why it's always funny to me. I can't be up to code. Even out here on the frontier. Right? Can't get in there. There's the kitchen. Basement must be through here. Oh yeah. A little room for him to chill at. For him to chillax. Wow. Grey's really outdid himself. Yeah, he did. Oh. The force, <laughs> with the force is not with you. You are with the force. There's a difference. Yeah. Let's see. There's a lot of things we're going to be able to unlock along the way. We're going to be focusing. Not on these ones, but the other ones that are going to show up. So for right now... Can you remap? You can. Okay. 
Hold on. You get the first one free. For some reason, it doesn't work on my account on the, the one I'm playing. So I'm just stuck with the decisions I've made. Which, I mean, I'm used to most games just do that. So, why don't we just give myself, right now, an extra life. Or, like, additional life, that is. Is that really a skill that I learned? Oh, that... Your Estus heals more. Yeah, it gives me more... It... Sorry, it... The, f the first game was the Dark Souls ask. I'm <coughs> probably gonna refer to things as though it was Dark Souls. Oh, I mean, they really strayed away from that. Oh, I see. The stem pack just does more. Okay, still good. Cal, I'm sure you're tired, like we all are. Take a nap, boy. We've all been there. You wake up halfway through the night, you're like, oh, uh. oh, you just go right back to sleep. No, I woke up the other day, and I mean, I had two farts that were like a shotgun going off. Change. I mean, if you put a lighter there, I, it probably would have become a blowtorch. I shit you not. Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. You both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what, you're gonna <coughs> find some trouble with Saw Guerrero? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, one of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that gun yet, Cal? Hold the line! I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Yeah, baby. Settle down, find a home. What? No one says you have to continue being a Jedi. You can always keep the lightsaber and just be a dude. Well, the thing is, is like, you know, as a Jedi, you just feel obligated to help the galaxy. The galaxy is in turmoil and pain. And the galaxy is unwilling to help itself. It's unable. Dude, like, when, when the, the Empire... The way everything worked out, otherwise you are gonna end up losing something. The clones and the, the separatists and everything like that, you know, it made the Empire seem like a really necessary thing when it happened. And a lot of people believed in it. Because like look at the, like straight up look at Nazism. A lot of people just thought it was good for the world and were doing their job. Like it's the the mundane the mundanity of evil is the, the banality of evil. It's just so this is a terrifying. It came with the like, people who will do terrible things in the name of an ideology and not even question it because it's literally just their job. Not even under fear of death, they're just being paid to do it and they look at it like working at a bank. It's just a job. And shit, you could argue working at a bank is kind of evil if you don't really like how banks operate. <laughs> Like, yeah, man, it's it's terrifying. It's no surprising that people gave up, or that people just accepted it. I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. I definitely have a pest problem. You see, I don't think shits. It turns into these little monsters, and then I poop them out, and they just run off. Dirty. Because I'm an alien, and we do weird things like that. that sounds like a Rick and Morty and thing. Uh, you see, they, they, don't, they don't actually take a shit, Morty. No, I see what we do is uh, a litter turns into a little monster that runs out of our butts. And then we have to chase it down and kill it. Oh, jeez, that's fucking gross. You, you, you don't go judging other species, Morty. No, but I know, but like, my shit doesn't just like run off. It just stays in place. Something interesting? Yeah, until you flush it, Morty. Oh, jeez. 
Then it goes into the ocean. Oh! Ouch. Oh no! You gotta watch out for that. Boglings. Are these what spook grease? Probably. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the achievement. Can you pet the boggling? You can pet the boggling. Okay, cool. That, that, uh, it's weird that it didn't pop before. Super strange. Oh. Ooh, it's loading screen. A conveniently <laughs> hidden loading screen. <coughs> Not as bad as they were in the first game. Hello there. Oh, shit. No, oh, no, no, you don't need to do that. Sometimes fighting is an option. No, fighting, not fighting is an option. But nobody's used these oh, but then there's a crystal now. down there. All right, fuck it, let's do it. Okay, this time fighting was an option. Who's the false cow? Let go, cow. Be eaten while you're on. That is still count. You know what I would love? Um, so for the Force Unleashed, the um, first and second game, they had this great DLC storyline where you go through the three original films and you mess up the timeline. And I would kind of love that with Cal, but instead of being a villain, he like takes Luke Skywalker's place. And then he actually gets to bang Leia. And Han actually dies, like he was kind of supposed to. They can have Lando take his place or something. Like, I think that would be a lot of fun. Not because I I don't like the original movies, but I just love alternate reality shit like that, and it just kind of makes me happy. And also because he'd be replacing Mark Hamill and a Joker Jedi replacing the other Joker Jedi. It's all a little meta, and I like it. It ain't ever gonna happen. But, oh, God! But at least it won't be weird when he and Leia kiss. But Han can still have the attitude like he's way cooler than Cal is, you know? I mean, even for, like, as cool as Cal is, he is kind of a little Jedi dork about things, you know? Like, oh, I gotta, I gotta rebuild the Order, and I gotta, like, be the nicest, best person I could possibly be. It's like, nah, you can be a little bit of a... Oh, and, you know, he wouldn't have any problem with killing Vader, either. And he's already interacted with Vader a lot. I am seeing some potential here. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, I got it. Oh, I don't got it. Whoa! Ah, oh, no, that's fine. Totally didn't break your lightsaber. Never. Um, lightsabers are a lot tougher than that. The sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can... I'm just surprised it didn't fall off his hilt. We should check this out. It's probably held on with, like, something that can only be detached using the Force. Like, how you could only open it by... You could only open a lightsaber by either using the Force or having tools strong enough. But, you know, if you use tools strong enough to break it open, you're just going to break the lightsaber. So if you find a lightsaber, you have two options. Either find someone who uses the Force or just accept, Hey, dude, I, I found a fucking lightsaber. <laughs> Almost and then just, you know, use it. Training grounds. It feels different. But I would not try to use it in battle unless you train with it, because otherwise you're going to have some problems. But, you know, you could, oh, you need to chop some wood? Lightsaber. Like, that's the thing, it's like, if people think that, oh, if lightsabers were created, they would be used in, like, wars and stuff, and we'd have Jedi running around, and people would be using them to, like, rob people. It's like, no, we'd actually probably just use them to chop wood and stuff like that. It would just replace the axe. You know how easy it would be to chop down a tree with a lightsaber? Whoa, shit. Where are you going, Cal? Whoa, okay. <laughs> right. Nice. Got it. I'm cool. I'm all right. Uh, I got it. That was awesome. <laughs> what are you looking at, BD? When is it? Once again, why look when you can leave? Right? <laughs> Uh Sick. Disaster. What's the... Oh. I don't know which way to go. 
Okay, that's the way we need to go. <coughs> so I'm gonna go the way we don't need to go because there's a secret over there, probably. Are you dying on us? Not yet. <laughs> ah! Looks like a data disk. Oh, yeah, we'll only use that later. Anything? Probably not. Okay, let's just go. Uh, ah, probably, but you know what? I just want to get get out of here. I can always explore later in my own. It's not really about exploring the whole thing, but I do want to do all the side missions let's just because there's always the something good in those. Yeah, and you can usually find people to like add to the bar and stuff, and then <laughs> that'll just make the experience more fun for us. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah. Where we meet Z. Careful, BD. Amboy says, "Yeah, I had the same argument with a friend a week ago. Like, no, it just replaces chainsaws and other tools like that. It's like, yeah, no. Like, lightsaber would just r ruin the lumberjack industry." Like, you wouldn't need an axe. Oh, you got muscles? That's cool. Sorry, just come I just to cut this. down that tree. What's up? Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the council demanded. Then at least, I shall remember you. I am ready. Wait, so you don't remember what she purged, but you remember the purge? Okay. What is your name, droid? I am CNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. That's what that thing I was. Information on that in my memory banks. The Kaboner Abyss. Master Please. You are aware the Republic has issued a full scale evacuation order. I am. Um... That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuna. Put it up your butt. Oh, what a fine model. And smuggle it. Oh my. Use that to open the forest array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. May the Force be with you. Damn, Cal, that is a hell of a unique power to have. For hundreds of years. Got that iron grip. Is your name Z? Yes, it is. How do you I'm Cal. This is BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. You have a lightsaber. Yeah. That's that not is... how it works. You are a Jedi! What gave it away? A lightsaber or the force? Not completely, Z. I'm a Jedi, all right. I'm more of a poncho guy. No longer a PlayStation plug. Now it's whatever the hell that is. Activate the bridge. Then you can reach the crane controls. Uh, I, think I am aware. After so many idle years, who really knows? This droid's got more than a screw. <coughs> what was that? I uh, said. Get him out of tight seat. Huh. 
why you gotta put multiple into the thing. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Knighted in the field. And what was their reason <clears throat> for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. Nice. What do you mean you don't like, want your lightsaber to be poop brown? Yeah. In the last game, it took like six hours to even learn that ability. give you a robo smooch. Thank you, Cap. It's like in Futurama when they start making out and sparks fly everywhere. Excuse me, I've been delayed long. Not now. Hold it together. Uh mind if I take a look? Sounds tantalizing. And well, I can help you. I got. This, was it that? No. Oh. Yes, it is this way. Follow me. Tantalor, more like MacGuffin. Or. Now I see where we are. A meditation chamber. Master Creed designed these to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Kree had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. The exit is this way. Cool. So yeah, you got a bunch of random perks and upgrades, see? Long did. Yeah, you could have been down here forever. <coughs> Probably would have been, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> One of the last Jedi out there until like I'm sure Luke came through here at some point. What's it like? Because he journeyed throughout the galaxy looking for force sensitive places. Yeah. Navigate the Kobo this. That must be the knowledge your master perched from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Probably. But which way are we getting up? She turned that way. Oh, what the fuck? Selfless attitude. These guys are great and deserve their own Disney Plus show. We talk to them. I don't think I can talk to them yet. Oh yes. How long you been together? Too long. We were one of the first people here, and both tried scouting for Priory. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. 
Then I caught sight of the most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlow. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Here she goes. Watch out, everyone. The voice from that creature speaking English is so funny, says Amboy. It's true. It is pretty hilarious. Could be great for you. Let's see what you got. Oh, hell yeah. This will be useful. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Now of its glory. Yeah, brother, I really like that mustache of yours. It reminds me of somebody I know. Welcome. Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Domodendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. <laughs> that's right. Got built on trust and quality, and I aim He's making fun of you, Doma. I'll take that shit from him. Squish him, tiny little man monkey. She's the final boss of the game. <laughs> That'd be great. Come on, Ding Dong, let's go. I love that strut, it's hilarious. I'm not a Bedlam Raider spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Cal, what's it? Look, I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. <laughs> we made it. Good to see you, Cal. Breeze Drydus, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. He does, though. I am ZNA. To the Jedi Order. Oh, I take you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal, <laughs> you have saved me, but I must ask more of you still. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri <laughs> ordered me to open the forest array, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. She said duty. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raiders snatch it. Well, that's what you That's why you make the repair. <laughs> Is he a <coughs> Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the menace. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I'm in full operating order, I will join you in the forest array. Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa! While they're all shallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, caught up. What is the liquid, yeah. though? Cal, I'm just a really good whiskey. The saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My face whiskey. Door, would you? Listen, when we finally get into space, if we don't refer to stuff as what it is, but with the word space in front of it, I'm going to be ticked. It's not just a screwdriver, it's a space screwdriver. That's not a hammer, that's a space hammer. Nope, space whiskey. So, you scrap anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks with the Raiders show face, folks abandon their projects. So, Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Oh, now I can barely so bad news. Spare no detail. Well, where to start? Uh, okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself emperor. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. Yep. 
In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from Imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Once say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes, perhaps that would be best. He's a really good bartending droid, though. I'll give him that. So how long have you known both? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal. Say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, see, why can't more people be perceptive like that? Telestar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. People just really want to know about your personal life. It's like, yes, yeah, you don't, though. <laughs> Dirty. It is though. It is. Hey Z, you know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Cree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes, but all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Sucks. Wait, when examine what? Oh, the skull. Is it the skull? I don't know. Right, see, keep saying examine. What? Must not get a lot of business here. Oh. Very That's perceptive just... of you, Cal. Also, he's standing right there. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. So, how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. I had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard. Yeah, Bravo were definitely tell that from the start. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. And the twins were Just double teaming remember, gaps. You're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, bud. I got your back, brother. Do you? Kobo. <coughs> You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Haxian brood. Escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Yeah, you ah, greasy no, motherfucker. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z's trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a padre. Not that I'm <laughs> too picky. If any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pyloon, do you hear? Place could use a little trouble. Imagine if they made a modern day pod race game. But instead of doing it like episode one pod racer, they do it more like other racing games where you just use all the Star Wars characters and then they have pod racers based off of their own ships. That would be kind of fun. On the Nintendo Switch, they just made a Star Wars pod racer as a free game to play. It's on here too, I have it. We could totally play that sometime. <laughs> oh, there he is. I like talking to him. Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back. For some reason, I feel nostalgic Andy talking to him. Nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe? You can't uh... borrow a turkle. Uh... Yeah, I know the voice, but I don't know the actor. Hold on. I need to know. Richard Stephen Horvitz. Not gonna lie, does not look like the guy I... First of all, I was expecting a woman. Usually voices like that are done by women. That's a hell of a voice for him to be able to do. And let's see who else he's done. So, he was Zim, he was Billy from Billy and Mandy, ooh, he was, um, Alpha 5 from Power Rangers. He was Billy's dad, uh, he was also in Destroy All Humans, we'll see that when we play that. He was Raz, as I mentioned, he was one of the Angry Beavers, I can't remember which one. Apparently he was one of the Ben 10 alien personas. I guess they were all voiced. I didn't really get into that franchise. Well, that's cool. There's a lot of other voices as well, but 
Yeah, I recognize a lot of these, and that's just fun. Dude's my freaking childhood. Especially Power Rangers, holy shit. Like, that's, that's way back. Like, Alpha 5 has been retired since before the 90s <laughs> ended. Like, I miss old Power Rangers. I miss James David Frank. Listen, friend, what's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent Are you? sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this Sir, place do you see this mustache? I am no Understand? fool. Get out I'm a real man. Noted. Get out while you can, man. Right. He's definitely giving that vibe, like, get out of here, go, just, just run, dude, run. Things suck here, you should get out while you have the ability. I gotta, like, watch an interview with this, uh, Richard guy. Who does the voice of Invader Zim and whatnot. Ah. What is this? Who knows? Sewage recycling? Hopefully not. Grease what? What are we examining here? You know he talks to his plants. You fucking A. Wait, now where are we going? What are we doing? Oh. Why did I come down here? Who knows? <coughs> Meditates. Okay. Ready to Ooh, go? Good. Let's do it. Wait, what's... Oh! I know what's in here. Check it. My old scrapper outfit. The original outfit. Why did Grease keep this? Because he loves no. you, dude. Creepy. <laughs> Is it creepy? That's the gate Z told us about. He probably missed you. He made him think of you, man. Maybe every now and then he picked it up and smelled it. Ah, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> that dude shows up everywhere. And I have no idea what his deal is. You know what he reminds me of? Remember, um, Robots? The movie Robots with Robin Williams? Yeah. He reminds me of Robin Williams' robot. Oh, hey, what do you want? Uh, hey, random quips, funny jokes, huh? Iconic voice? I'm dead now. Oh, I know, I just got sad. Look at that. No, I actually, like... If I talk about it for too long, I will actually start crying, and at some point, I'm like, I think I need to see a therapist about this. Because, like, the dude, I didn't have a dad, so he was like a father figure to me, a, 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 a fucking an idol. Someone to aspire to be, to look up to, and I mean, it's, next year will be ten years. Right? Isn't that not fucking crazy? Whatever you say. What's happening? I mean, I think there are a few people out there who can transition between being a comedian and then being an actor, and not only being a comedic actor, but being an actor of pathos that'll actually make you cry and feel shit, you know? Like, that's not easy to do. Like, even Jim Carrey kind of had a hard time. You know, getting his foot in the door as a serious actor. It's kind of a shame, like, Jim's like, oh, I'm retiring from acting. And it's like, <laughs> I hate it when actors say that. Because they never do. He will be back for either the right script or the right amount of money. He'll be like, I need to redo my kitchen. Oh, expectations. Initiated. Oh. <laughs> But um, it, it's like with the with the Studio Ghibli guy being like, "Oh, I'm retired. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I'm retired. Okay, I'm back." It's like, listen, man, you are an artist. You are never retired. You're just not. Can I go under there? Okay. Um, turn and look. Yeah, there's that. There's one right there. No, I was just seeing things. No, yeah. Where is it? Okay, you know, I'm just gonna go through that hole and find out what it is. Um, that map was a little hard to oh. 
Holy shit. Yeah, every artist and singer and actor and what have you, they just need to acknowledge that, like, art doesn't work to the beat of capitalism from. If they're not feeling it, then they're not feeling it, especially if you've had a successful career. You know, if you want to stop for a little out. while and just, like, recharge your battery cells and enjoy life and whatnot, more power to you. But, you know, you're going to be back. Of course you'll be back. Because you'll come up with something later that you... You love the applause. You love to create. You love the admiration. You get a little high on it. Trust me. Fucking trust me. I know. Oh my god. There's not... The only thing better than the applause you can get on stage or at karaoke... Is that for being a good rhino? Yeah, something like that. The only thing better than the applause you can get at places like karaoke for singing is getting a fucking blowjob because you're such a good goddamn singer. I'll tell you what, man, you never fucking retire. I think I have to fight this fucking dude, don't I? Yeah. Out on Z! Oh, he does that. That's cool. Oh yeah, definitely scan it. What'd you Thinking find, buddy? Battle. Yep. Just checking. Oh wait, what's that way though? Yep. Ah. Let's see if Doma's Sick. interested in this. Probably. I got that sick ass mustache. Wait, what? Whoa. Hey now. Oh, cool. Happy accident. Yep. <laughs> you ever notice when he sits down, BD1, he wiggles his toes a little bit? It's fucking cute. Like, they didn't have to make BD-1 super adorable. Because that means he was programmed to be super adorable. Like, I'm guessing by the, the Jedi who owned him. I think it's funny. Oh, here we go. What the hell? That's normal. Normal behavior. Intruder! My powers mean nothing? <clears throat> I mean, if you say so, but, uh... I thought that one was gonna pull out a grenade, so I was like... What? Someone was saying something. Oh, hi. Hey, there you guys are. Damn it. Oh my god, okay, cool. Are you certain about that? That was a sweet little kill move. Toss me a stem, buddy. Toss a stem to your Witcher. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch Witcher. Didn't read it. I didn't even play any of the games. It's a franchise that completely passed me by. Shop. I do have The Witcher 3, like, that can be downloaded, and I think 2 as well. Same. I just never played, you never played them either? No, I... We should totally try them. I could just, get into it. We should try to get Here into it. But at the very least, be like, oh, okay. Like, there's obviously something there. Like, I'm not hating on the franchise, anybody listening. You ready should be out here somewhere. Way well, forward is to cut through. You know, like Game of Thrones, there was clearly something there. You catch that too, BD. And I'll load Which is here. lucky Harry Potter ended Looks pretty like well. Blocked. Sit tight, BD. Oh, it is what blocked. I can do. Run, cow. 
Really? Oh. Of course. That's gonna do, but I wanted to do it. Oh, here we go. Good to go, BD. Let's try that again. Oh, he can activate it. Oh, because he stayed over there. Watch this. How the fuck did he do that? Hmm. Well, he's got the little jet on his butt, but that's a quick ass jet. Oh, oh damn! damn. These chickens are not to be fucked with. Like I said, it's my fault. What is it, BD? It's a rock! It's not a rock! It's a boulder! That's right, you didn't watch SpongeBob. So, in this episode, it's a season one episode. Somebody calls up, they're like, hey, can you guys make a pizza? A pizza? Of course! And he takes it, like, he literally, in front of Squidward's eyes, because he's like, we don't make pizza. He makes a pizza out of a crusty burger. Don't ask me how. And he puts it in a box and gives it to them to deliver. And they have to go deliver it on foot. And they get lost, and they find this huge-ass boulder... And then Spongebob's like, you know, excited about this boulder. And he, he talks about how the pioneers used to to ride them along the plains. And, you know, Squidward thinks he's just being crazy. And then Spongebob literally rides off on this giant... I'm not Squidward, but Spongebob rides off on the boulder. And Squidward runs after him. And it's just fucking hilarious. What do you think this array is, buddy? Dude, season one of SpongeBob is probably some of the funniest so to think so too. entertainment for children ever created. Everything after just gets progressively worse. Season two, nice. and it's not even like an objective thing. It's just like you know, how many times can you make a show funny, especially with the same writers? Like even the guy who, I think the guy who made SpongeBob actually passed away. But yeah, he he grew up on the ocean side and loved the ocean was a, a surfer and super into you know the fish and the sea life and whatnot he was a cool guy he did diving he's pretty tubular dude <laughs> it's too bad he passed away i think it was cancer or either a tumor one of those things one of those like unfortunate shitty things you're like but why and yet guess who's still standing hello Keep moving, buddy. It's always fun to just watch the AI fight each other. Come on, you can get him. Why are the stormtroopers fighting the robot? They're not on the same team. The robot, the 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 um, droids are owned by the raiders. The stormtroopers are Imperials. All right. Oh, oh, oh. It was the separatists who had the joint armies. Yeah. No, I don't think they're going to get through that shield. Come on, get him. Or bash them. Come on, man. Advance. Oh, shit. It was a short victory. They must have shot this drop pot all the way from the Lucre Hulk. Hot damn. Oh yeah, there's um so you know the big uh droid battle stations in the sky, like the one Anakin blew up in the first episode? Yeah. Um there's that middle round pod, one of those on the planet. And it's a, uh, it's a big set piece you have to go through later. It's fun. Where am I going? The right way. 
This is the way. Da na 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 let me get the shield guy. Let me get the shield guy. Can I see that for a second? Thanks. What? Okay, that should have hit him. Come with me. You'll be in a world of death. Wait, there is something down there, though. Hunter. Oh, we found Hunter Biden. Where's your laptop? Ah, because that's important. Generations of Raka raised their young here, and the Empire tore through. Whoa! Shot and trampled anything that got in their way. Wanna try that again, brother? On target! I that he's trying. I mean, they're pretty accurate. But that's because Stormtroopers are actually really accurate. They were just told not to be accurate on the uh, rebels during episode four and then also you know plot armor exists and whatnot for them because they're not video game characters who are designed to die and respawn and also you know dumb meme is dumb because i played a lot of star wars video games i know for a fact stormtroopers are fucking accurate intelligent on the other hand There you go. Really? Only half health? I threw a whole ass shield at you, man. What do you got here? Punch you, BD. Nice. I think I'm supposed to go down, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Another one? Cool. You have a faith? Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm supposed to pull it out. Ah! I just didn't want to fight one. Come on. You couldn't have grabbed it while you pulled it? Yes. Oh, it vomits now? That's cool. Sick. Man. At least I got a skill point off of it. Rock has an erection. Also, how did Moss grow on it? What? Are you serious right now? You should invest in some plot armor. Right? Ali, oh. There, see? Moss. Because as we all know, Moss. Even before she was damaged, there's no way Zeke could have made it. It's forever. Course, can hold this board of human weight. That's no why we use it as blue. With. What I would give to see a glimpse of that galaxy. Come on, cat, just go up. Hey, little guys. Uh, easy, easy. I'm not Ow. looking for trouble. 
Hey, little guy. I meant to talk to her, but that's okay. Another happy accident. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Oh, oh you know. That's a relief. I'm useless in a fight. I came to see that incredible High Republic structure. Didn't expect to have to fight <laughs> off peace with my field journal. Sorry, rambling. Bad habit. D I'm Toa, by the way. Oh. This is BD1. Listen, the Empire is not going to be happy to find you out here. Why don't you head back to the Reach? I think I will take you up on that. Uh. So what'd you find? Something about rations and supplies. I don't know. I never really finished it. Just scan it because there might be an achievement. Oh, yeah. I unlocked a shortcut. Cool. <laughs> I'm like how the game just naturally expected you to do that, so... Catch what they were shooting at? The spy droid. Someone else has eyes out here. Oh, really? Gonna grab that? You know, fine. We'll go this way then. Oh, wait. Hold on. The sturdy ass branch. Jedi, where? You can hit multiple people. Wait, what? What does the Empire want with a backwater planet like Kobo? Ah, uh, who knows? Ew. Crew cut. Ew. What do you want, BD1? Try to scan something? Okay, go ahead. All right, all right. Let's look. Stim here. The array should be up through there. Think that creature's a heavy sleeper? Probably not. Is there a meditation spot anywhere? No. Over there, though. These little fucking dudes, man. Holy shit, dude, get out of here. Oh my god, they're gonna kill me. I'm gonna die to chickens, man. Alright. Lightsaber piece. Oh, hey. Robin Williams. Robin, come back. I'm a big fan. Peace. No, Robin, there's a sleepy beast over there. You don't want to go near him. Beast him. He's water. I like how he's more scared of that than he's scared of me. Yeah, I expected that. I can hit one more time. Uh, let's say I'm dead. BD1's like, now what? 